High in the hills of the Chongoni forest lie the secrets to Malawi's ancient past. Because of uh, civil campaigns, sterilization campaigns. This exceptional UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to rock paintings that date back as far as the second century. These natural shelters have protected the densest cluster of rock art in Central Africa. So far, 127 rock art sites have been discovered in the area, and these red and white paintings that you can see are unique to Malawi. The red paintings are the oddest. They were made by the Akafula, uh, sometimes called the Abatwa. Uh, these were the short statued people that lived in these caves. Uh, some 2,000 to 7,000 years ago. The white paintings um, were made by the Bantu, the Chewa. As they were migrating from Zaire, they were making these paintings. These paintings were uh, a means or devices that our ancestors were, were using as memory devices for stories and uh, songs. The Chongoni Rock Art World Heritage Site was inscribed by UNESCO in 2006. But that's not been enough to protect it from modern man. Today, the paintings are under threat from graffiti and bushfires. So this has been drawn? Yeah, this is, yeah the black ones. Moses and Kumpa is trying to raise awareness among the local community about the importance of protecting their heritage. If we can uh, continue on um, sisterizing campaigns, inculcating values that this is our heritage that he records, our history, our traditions, and uh, if we can uh, empower the, the communities around, then they can at least learn the importance of this to our economy because this is a, a destination which captures a lot of uh, tourists here. And this is the heritage for all humanity, and uh, it's always good to preserve it. Moses and others hope better awareness and protection will ensure their country's ancient heritage lives on to provide future generations a glimpse into their past. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Dedza, Malawi.